This video will show you how easy it is to convert this profile in red to a polyline and then array it for the cut per passes. Using array you can set array for a, a amount that you want the pass to cut, say like 20 thousandths. So to change this to a polyline you click on that, edit polyline, click on join, select all entities, right click on the mouse, done. This should be a polyline. All one line. Now, just regen that. Now to array it, modify, Click on Array, select all entities, uh, rectangular, number of rows will be six, right click, number of columns is one, right click, the vertical distance between lines will be point, point O two. Oh, 20 thousands. Enter. And that's it. It's done. Now to make this work with CAD to lathe, we want to start with this cut first. So we have to explode this whole thing. So, regen, modify, select explode, all entities. Done. Right click. Now these are arcs and lines. Okay? They're not polylines no more. So to convert each one now to a polyline. Starting with the top one. You click on that, edit the polyline. Join, select all entities, done. Modify, edit the polyline, select Join, select all entities, done. Select, modify, edit the polyline. Join, select all entities, done. Modify, edit the polyline. Join, select all entities, done. Modify, edit the polyline. Join, select all entities, done. Final pass. Edit the polyline. Join, select all entities, done. Now these all should be uh, in polyline again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's correct. Regen. To verify that it starts at zero, click on properties. And it's starting at zero, and the next one is minus x. Okay, that's correct. Now to save the drawing so it can be used in uh, CAD delayed, just click on File, Save As, uh, your file name, DXF. I'm saving it as a uh, sample T for test. Save As Type AutoCAD Release 11 slash 12. ASCII DXF save I already have it on my desktop so I'm going to save it again ok we now have a G-code file that we can use in CAD to lay program